the smell of burning plastic. Uh, General Plastro, sir. Um, Baron Von Beige is here to see you, sir. <laughs> Baron Von Beige. I have arrived. Uh, what is our current status, Baron? We are approaching 80% production capacity. We should be at full speed by the end of the week. Excellent. Begging your pardon, General, but my talents are wasted on this bureaucracy. I need your tactical mind and um, influential presence to keep the men at 110%. Do you realize what we have here? We've tapped into an abundance of raw materials on the other side of that portal. Why, we've got enough at our disposal to double the no, triple the size of our forces. Yes, but volume cannot make up for lack of skill. Uh, well, what are you worried about, Von Beige? Uh, Captain Blade? Blade is nothing. Well, nothing beat us last time. That was before I arrived, General. Blade's reputation is built on luck and hype. Oh, you'll have your chance at Blade. <laughs> you can count on it. Sparrow 2 to Bird's Nest, come in. We found what looks to be a tan factory or something. Tan Baron has returned, and this time, he is showing no mercy. Supporting his own legend, this mysterious Tan Ace has single-handedly cut off the Green Nation's supply of incoming raw materials. And without these precious resources, Green War efforts are seriously threatened. But the legend of the merciless Tan Baron has found few challengers brave enough to stop him. At the top of the list, Captain William Blade of Alpha Wolf Squadron. Good luck, Captain. Our cheers go with you. Well, glad you decided to join us, Captain. What's the drill? And where's Woodstock? Well, Woodstock is the drill, mate. He's down behind enemy lines. We sent him out with the recon wing in this area here. He reported finding a tan plastic refinery, but they were attacked. Very likely by the tan baron. I told you I should have been along for the ride. So when do I leave? First things first, son. I need you to confirm the location of that refinery and destroy it. No sweat. And then we get Woodstock. 